I had my friend's birthday party at an Italian restaurant in the Bronx. Now, the cuties that have been following along on my vegan journey, I stopped <laughs> being vegan on my birthday. Then mm-hmm. Easter happened. And the ultimate payoff was going to be my sister's wedding shower and this Italian restaurant in the Bronx. Mm-hmm. So I was not vegan this weekend. I did get veal parm at the Italian restaurant. Loved it. I had calamari as well. Wonderful. However, my drinks of choice and cuties also actually have been following along on this journey. I have not drank since my birthday. Uh And you witnessed that in person. I did. Yeah. When I came into the city, Donnie was sipping on Diet Cokes and water. Like a real square. What a loser. (laughs) Well, I wasn't a square at this birthday because my drink of choice was an espresso martini or a cappuccino martini. Donnie. What? I love them. I know, but is this your first time drinking many of them or have you done this journey before? I've done this journey before, but not when I needed to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning the next day. Oh. Yeah. So I didn't go to sleep until six o'clock in the morning. And then woke up an hour later and traveled cross country, not really cross country, but traveled multiple states over to Pennsylvania, where I helped set up and run my sister's shower. Well, luckily, you probably had enough caffeine still in your system from the (laughs) night before to keep like a small village running. A little bit, yeah. I can't drink more than one espresso martini. And I am a tank. You know that, like, I've got a wooden leg or something because I really can drink a lot of alcohol. But espresso martinis, I don't know if it's, like, residual body trauma from the original formula for Loco. But, like, I cannot be mixing uppers and downers. I can't be doing an RBV. I had six of them. Six? (laughs) Yeah. Donnie, you were lucky you didn't have a heart attack. (laughs) Demi Lovato would be singing at you at that next heart conference. I wish they would. Oh, my God. Yeah, six. Wow. Now, I will say, when we moved locations, I know this from serial killers and human trafficking. If you switch locations, you should never drink at the second location. So all my friends got more drinks. A bottle of champagne was ordered. I stuck to water and Diet Coke at the second place. It's just more caffeine in a different form. Donnie, <laughs> I want to say I'm proud of you for following the code of the serial killers and not having drinks at the second location. However, I'm perhaps more concerned now because I'm putting together the pieces like I'm my very own J.B. Fletcher. This means you had six espresso martinis at the first location. Yes, but we were there for four hours. Okay. The math isn't exactly <laughs> mathing, but... It's better than I was anticipating. Okay. And I had six of those espresso martinis and Cherry's Jubilee for dessert. Do you know what that is? I didn't. No. What's a Cherry's Jubilee? I thought it was just cherry ice cream. It was on the special menu. Like tonight's special dessert is Cherry's Jubilee. And I just read vanilla ice cream with cherries and stopped reading. But they fill the bottom of the cup with brandy and then set it on fire before they give it to you. But I didn't know that. So when I dug in my spoon, I literally like choked because I, that, I love brandy, but that was not a taste I was expecting. Wow. Well, you know what? Some other puzzle pieces are sliding together <laughs> in the forefront of my brain because I received a text message from you oh. the following day saying, I just chat at my sister's bridal shower and now I kind of understand why now cuties when he sent me that text it is important to remember who the text message was from so I needed to ask the follow-up questions where did you shit was it in your pants was it in the little basket you put all those cards you did say it was in a toilet so I'm proud of you for that especially after knowing you had six espresso martinis and a cherry jubilee in the system and veal parmesan my god you were just Ready to burst. No, you're absolutely right. And I did shit in the toilet, but I also did ask my cousin, who is a bridesmaid, to do a butt check at one point. Like, not a bare butt check, just jeans. I said, my butt is... That's worse. That's worse. Why? How? I mean, of course, I wouldn't want to put your cousin through that. (laughs) I don't want to see that. That's a callback to our... The comeback recaps we're doing over on our Patreon, patreon.com slash I'm the cute one. I wouldn't want your sister to have to say that. But the fact that you're concerned that it would make it through the denim is more concerning. 
It's happened before, number one. So I'm just working off of experience. Sure. Number two, my butt was unusually wet. So I asked her, like, why? Am I sweaty? Help me. And she said, no. Denim was the normal denim color. We're safe. Happy wedding. Levi's, if you want to sponsor us, <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the cherry jubilee. 